being a somewhat local product from Brockton, what was it about Bentley and the basketball program in general that made you decide to become a Falcon? When I visited campus, I really felt like the whole program was like a family. Um, everybody genuinely cared about each other. They all worked really hard um, and, and really supported each other. And that was very similar to what I had in high school. And so I wanted to be a part of something like that for my college experience. Your team was very successful. Your second season winning the Northeast 10 championship and then making it making it run all the way to the final four between before losing in overtime to South Dakota State. What was that experience like for you in coming so close to that national championship game? Man, um, probably one of the most exhilarating experiences I had um, for my career at Bentley, just making it to the final four um, and, and probably uh, one of the saddest experiences that I've had at the same time, um, going uh, and being up in the lead the entire game and, and losing the momentum uh, once we made it into overtime was really tough. Um, so overall, a great experience just, just to know that our team was capable of playing um, in a Final Four. Um, but again, just coming up short, uh, it's really tough. Um, during your time, Coach Stevens touched on some of the uniqueness in the schedule years ago, which, which they really don't have today, where you would play a lot of non-conference games against some premier opponents across the country. Can you speak to what the, those games meant for your teams to play with these higher profile games as a way to prepare yourselves for the playoffs where you would ultimately be playing these, you know, these elite teams? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was great to be able to play these uh, elite teams uh, early in the season, especially because the, the Northeast 10, I mean, the competitiveness that is in this conference is, is unbelievable. And so I felt like playing, being able to play those teams early on definitely prepared us for the, the type of intense play that we were going to have during the regular season and definitely in playoffs. So, and of course, being able to travel uh, was just added to the experience. In 2004, you were chosen as the Northeast 10 Defensive Player of the Year, and an award that really speaks to your level of dedication in helping the team be so successful. It's such a, you know, an unselfish role to be that defensive player. What did that award mean to you, and not just to you personally, but just kind of your work with the team that year? Yeah, I mean, um, getting an award like that um, for our program, I just felt really, really proud, especially because Coach Stevens really ingrained in us the importance of, of defense and in the how imperative it was to be a great defensive team in order to win games and win championships and so to be able to represent our team in that way was uh, it was just a really proud moment for me what is your fondest memory of your time playing for coach Stevens? Oh, man um i'd probably say uh going to disney world um that was that was awesome i mean growing up it just seemed like something that was so unattainable uh, for me, Disney World was the castle that we saw before movies. And, um, you know, the, the interview after the Super Bowl that the quarterback would get, what are you doing next? I'm going to Disney World. So <laughs> yeah. It just seemed like this thing that was like really far-fetched and, and out there. And so to be able to experience that as a teenager was, uh, was a, a great gift. I do appreciate you taking some time with me to talk about the, uh, the program and Coach Steve and Shante. Enjoy your evening. Thank you. Okay.